The universe isn't just expanding, it's accelerating. Every second, galaxies drift farther apart, faster and faster, as if pushed by a force we cannot see, cannot touch, cannot explain. Scientists call it dark energy, the invisible hand shaping the destiny of everything. Today, dark energy makes up about 68% of the total energy in the universe. It's more dominant than all the stars, planets, gas, and dust combined. Yet, it doesn't glow, doesn't clump, doesn't collide. It simply exists, everywhere, stretching the fabric of space itself. What's stranger? The more the universe expands, the more dark energy dominates. In the late 1990s, astronomers studying distant supernovae expected to find that gravity was slowing the universe down. Instead, they found the opposite. The expansion was speeding up. That shocking result changed cosmology forever. Something was overpowering gravity, and no known law could explain it. To make sense of this, scientists turned to Einstein's equations. They added a term he once called his biggest blunder, the cosmological constant, symbolized by the Greek letter lambda. This became the heart of the lambda CDM model, a framework that describes not only cosmic expansion, but the structure of the cosmic microwave background and the vast web of galaxies spread across billions of light years. Yet a haunting question remains, the coincidence problem. Why, right now, are the densities of matter and dark energy so similar when they should evolve completely differently over time? It's like looking at a clock that stops at exactly your birthday. Possible, but unbelievably unlikely. Some physicists suggest dark energy isn't constant, but a shifting, living field called quintessence. Others, that maybe we've misunderstood something deeper. Perhaps the universe isn't perfectly uniform and isotropic. Maybe the cosmological principle itself, the foundation of modern cosmology, is beginning to crack.